Hey everybody, this is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. I'm coming to you today uh, right at the end of March and uh, I'm in the foothills of the Western Catskills. It's a bit of another blustery, cold, windy day. Uh, so I'm gonna head into this small uh, protected brook trout stream um, to try to get out of the wind and some of the cold. And also I just said having much better luck on these smaller streams. The, the smaller fish seem to be a bit more eager so far this season. So. Anyway, hope you guys aren't getting sick of me catching brook trout because that's the plan today. I'll stop talking and I'll head on down to the stream. Nice fish. Beauty. What a great first fish of the day right there. Fat, healthy looking rookie for this stream. This is a gorgeous one. Oh, that makes my day already. That's a good brook trout right there. Oh, that might be the biggest brook you have got on this stream. That's a dandy right there. Oh, wow. Oh, that is definitely my, uh, my PB on this stream. Look at this fish. That's just a tank for this stream. Beautiful, beautiful brook trout. This has been, always been an interesting pool. It's uh, It's been pretty much clogged up with a big tree, which it looks like the high water has finally kind of pushed it out a little bit. It's a little bit of open water here. Not much room to cast, but it's always been just about impossible to catch a fish out of this pool. So this is kind of cool. Just trying to creep up here real slow. I think I see it. All right. I see a trout. He's right. There's a rock right about where I'm pointing here. He's sitting right behind it, right next to it. I should be able to get this guy. If I don't spook him. That should work. It, oh, <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. He ate the dry and then I had him on the nymph for just a second. I might, he might eat again though. Early season trout are not the smartest in the bunch. We'll see.
Dang, that would have been pretty cool. Oh, there's one swimming right at me here. Going right at my feet. Where the heck is he going? Just went right under me. That was weird. There's a brook trout just sitting right there. I just spooked two from the tail of this tiny little pool, but I see another one up here. I don't know if I can get a cast in. Right there. There he goes. <laughs> he thought he was safe in this little pool. That was pretty neat. He came up, chased it. Kind of looked at me actually. Stared right at me. I felt like I was hunting. There's a pretty brookie in this little isolated pool here. Gorgeous. A nice spot for him. There you go, buddy. There's actually three fish in this little pool. Pretty neat. Yeah, first brown. There's a few browns mixed up in here. Not too many, but pretty fish. Mm. All right, put the dropper on. It's about 18 inches off the uh, off the stimulator. It should get down pretty good. There we go, right up into the heart of it. Little action. And there we are. Nice fish. That's a brookie. Oh, it is. That is a nice brook trout right there. Oh, another gorgeous fish. Look at that nice brook trout. Another specimen. And here's the fly, it came right off. I just gave it a little action and he, he followed it and hammered it. There he is. The guy came up and ate the ate the stimulator, so I uh, I threw the dropper back on. I couldn't pass up another brook trout. Pretty fish.
Another little brown. Got fish. They're yeah, not real aggressive on the dry, but. Set pretty hard on that poor guy. <laughs> I just had missed two out of this pool. I don't know. I think the first one I might not have been recording. I missed a really nice one and then uh, I just changed up, put a nymph on, and I had a fish and I didn't see my fly. It's kind of getting dark up here, so at least I got one out of this hole. I'm gonna let him go right here. He'll he'll make his way back up. There he goes. All right, well that's gonna wrap it up for me this afternoon. Uh, it's getting to be pretty late, it's cooling off, the fishing has slowed down, and I'm pretty much out of fishable water here. So it ended up being a really fun day. Got some nice brookies, including my uh, personal best on this stream. That one really surprised me, so that was certainly the highlight for me. I hope you guys aren't getting tired of the brookie content, but it just kinda of seems like the best fishing for me right now, and I just enjoy it so much. So uh, there will be some different um, streams coming up, hopefully some big fish and uh, exploring some new areas in the future. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment or question if you'd like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.